morning. It's Monday. It's early. Must be time for AC's Monday vlog. Thanks so much for joining me this morning. It's always nice to start the week uh, rambling on a bit about bowls. I mean, everyone's favourite hobby, isn't it? Anyway, thanks very much for joining me. Remember, if you enjoy this video, hit that like button. If you want to be part of the channel, part of the community, be a bowls buddy. It's free, that's the main thing, it's free, it costs you nothing. There's over 1100 of us at the minute. Hopefully we can get more uh, to sign up. Like I say, it's free. So become a bowls buddy, hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell to receive updates of new uh, content on this channel. And as you all know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, new content. And uh, Tuesday, Thursday, brand new videos for you. And I've just found some new software on my uh, computer to use. Oh, it's brilliant. Can't wait for you to see it. So, this week, what have we got? Well, I've been asked to plug something. Now, normally when you plug something, you get a free... If it's a book, you get a free book and you read it and you can review it. And you say, yeah, buy it, but he's a bit tight and he hasn't given me one. But I still said I'd plug it anyway. I'm going to put my glasses on, I'm going to read it. Uh, if you've been on Facebook on the Crown Green site, uh, he's been advertising it uh, all over. A guy called Andy Fleming from down Barnsley Way. Uh, he's written a book. I think he's got another one coming out shortly as well about practising. Uh, this one is called The Inner Game of Crown Green Bowls. And it's all to do with the mental side. Um, not so much um, how to play the game, but how to get the best out of yourself. Uh, apparently I'm in it, and my photo's in it, so it must say something like, well, if you've seen Andy Cairns do this, just do the opposite. If it's anything to do with the mental side of the game. So, uh, that's on Amazon. I'll put a, I'll put a, pi a picture up uh, on the video. It's £13.99, pence, uh, and you can get that in paperback or... On the Kindle um, platform. I ain't got a Kindle. Um, but I'm told they're very good. So uh, check that out on Amazon. £13.99. It's uh, self-published. So I don't think he's making an art. Well, I don't think he's making anything, to be honest. Uh, at the minute, there's two reviews on it. Both five star. So buy it. Have a read. And uh, decide for yourself. I'd love to tell you anyth anything else about it. But I ain't got a copy. Uh, so that's that out of the way, that's my good deed for the day. Uh, on the channel this week, some of you may have noticed there's a lot of the old videos popping up and that's because I'm reworking them. Uh, I'm getting rid of, of uh, advert breaks, getting rid of music that doesn't need to be there, getting rid of stuff, just tarting them up to be honest. Please don't take offence. Can't say anything at the minute without somebody taking offence. Uh, so there's a lot of good stuff. Um, there's the uh, Midlands Bank debacle. Everyone's favourite, Harry Little Fair. <laughs> oh, if you haven't seen it, you've got to watch it. I mean, the the basic story is uh, Harry Little Fair and John Clark from Warrington. Uh, they're in the Midlands Bank pairs at Rill and they're getting on in it. And I think it was John Clark, possibly, who was had a holiday booked and they couldn't go back for the for the next game. So this is at the quarter final stage, by the way. So what do you do? You get through your last sixteen, and then you make sure you don't lose your last eight, uh, don't win your last eight game. Swap a few quid, happy days, a few euros in the back bin, or before euros, obviously. Job done. But what do they do? They, it's a, it's best of three sets. They win the first set. What's that about? Why why win it? Why win a set? You just peacefully don't play. You just send them short. And you... So then they get in a winning position. And they're playing um, uh, Roger Crover and uh, Mal. Oh, his second name's escaped me. I plays at Thongsbridge as well. He'll kill me. Anyway. And Roger struck and knocked the jack. And he's 15 yards to get in for game. Well, 
just watch it. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Of course, it did end uh, Midlands Bank, <laughs> Midland Bank connection with Crown Green Bowls, but, you know, comedy gold sometimes costs you that, doesn't it? Anyway, so that's, that's, it's only about three or four minutes, but it's brilliant. Um, I think it's, it already had 10,000 views, and I don't know how many views this will get. Uh, but also popping up on the revisit, rehashed one, is a little game from 1996 Bass Masters. Yours truly versus Bob Croshaw. What a game that is. Uh, I'm told it's the biggest ever comeback that's on a televised bowls match. I don't know if that's much of a claim to fame or not, but um, anyway, it was very, very funny at the time because I know it's a bit of a spoiler, but I ended up winning after being a mile behind. And they were talking, Bob at the time, marvellous player, winning everything. They were going on about how we, how we could win the competition. Or Anyway, nobody told me, I just kept going. And um, I came off, and I ringed my mum up from the rakes, didn't have mobile phones then, and I'm on pay phone, and I didn't realise they'd gone to a commercial break. It was shown live, they then had a break, and then continued as live. So I'm, I phoned my mum, I go, mum, mum, she went, how can you be on the phone? You, you, you've just come on after the after the break. Don't tell me who wins. Don't. Tell me. <laughs> so, she put the phone down on me. Nothing new about that. So that's that's the rehash. There's lots of other good stuff on there. I mean, it's all good stuff. But then we've also got uh, one of Noel Burrow's tapes has come up. Trumps a little bit of Bowls Gold. The 19, 1982 Bass Masters semis and finals. I've never seen a minute of that. Never seen a minute of it. And it was wonderful. What I've watched every second, fantastic. Uh, Bernard Marrow's on it. Ken Strutt, Noel Burrows. Who was in the other semi-final? Oh, Roy Nicholson, maybe? No, I couldn't have been. Can't remember. Brilliant, though. Can't remember who the fourth one is, but it's, there's three games. So good, so good. Uh, and then there's the, I think it's 2014 All England, the one that Ashley Dakin won, which is arguably one of the finest All Englands. Atmosphere-wise, it was amazing. Uh, massive crowd, green in good condition, top bowling, yours truly playing in it briefly, and then uh, commentating on it, um, which was always good with, with my pal Mel. Um, happier times so that's on I've, for future weeks I've also got the 2009 All England from Dave West thank you Westy so that'll be going on and I've got I've got quite a bit actually really good stuff I don't want to give too much away but anyway enjoy it it's, it's good so what else can I tell you uh, the Waterloo 50-50 draw, that's up to nearly 100 people, I think, at the time of recording. I think the maximum they want is 166. Which, but I'm sure if they got 200, that they'd, uh, they won't turn them away. So we're getting there. Uh, we're getting there, which is good. Uh, I've had some really good uh, feedback and messages from the previous videos, which is great. Thank you so much. It's brilliant to read the comments. I don't reply to all of them. Um, it would take too long, basically. But it's great to see your views, read your views. A few of you are still emailing, which, which which is good. Again, sorry if I don't reply. Um, but I'll probably end up using some of it in, a, in future videos. Um, I think that's probably all I've got for you. Uh, Wednesday weigh-in, don't forget. So join me on Wednesday. I bought an exercise bike. Managed to find one from somewhere. Doing very, very short supply. Got it off Facebook. So I'm on that an hour a day now. Um, I've also got some other, other little exercises to do. Ask Andy on Friday. Uh, I'm debating what to do. I don't like to do a nice sort of um, uh, non-controversial one. Or... So how bad women's bowls is or something. I don't believe that, by the way. Um, a big women's bowls fan, as you know. Uh, but I'm trying to think of something maybe controversial I could I could talk about. 
Would you believe it? My sodding battery ran out. I was only about to wrap up as well. Typical. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching uh, today, guys. Whew, out of breath. Um, catch me on Wednesday with another Waterloo weighing. Um, and again, ask Andy on Friday. I have no idea what I'm going to talk about yet, but I'll think of something. So, uh, I think that's it. Um, so, thanks for watching today. Stay at home. If you don't stay at home, you go on the green, stay safe. And I'll see you on the other side.